Hi, I'm Paul from Hobstar Computing Solutions here in Melton South. And I'm here today on behalf of the Melton City Council Learning Directory to talk to you about using Facebook Messenger. We're going to start by having a look at how to install it onto your phone, um, how to load the Facebook app as well, but more specifically, how to access the Facebook Messenger app, which you can use to communicate with other people that you've connected to with on Facebook. On some phones, you'll need to swipe down from the top. On mine, I push the uh, six little white buttons down the uh, bottom there. So try different ways to open up, to get to all your apps. Uh, from here, we want to search for the Play Store. If you're on an Android device, if you're on an Apple device, you'll need to look for the iStore. Go Play Store and click on that one. Uh, from here, we need to do a search for Facebook or Facebook Messenger, depending which one we're going to install. We're going to install Facebook first. However, most phones actually have it um, installed by default. This one is asking to update. That means there's a newer version of it. I'm going to click on the update button here. And I'm just going to speed up a bit of footage here because it takes a little while to do. And once it's finished downloading, it will then install. Depending on your internet speed and how fast your phone is, this could take anywhere from a minute or two to a couple of minutes. And then when it's finished installing, you could if you wanted to open it. But instead, I'm going to go back on the search button here with the back button up the top left and click up there and type in uh, Facebook Messenger. There we go, Facebook Messenger. You can see in the list there, we could have done it from there. And this one is not installed by default. I'm going to click the install button. Once again, we'll uh, speed this up, go uh, 200 times speed. 200% let's say. Interesting thing about this app, once it finished downloading and installing, it then immediately wanted to update as well. So I think it's always important to keep your app up to date. I'm gonna run the update as well. Keeping your apps up to date will help to prevent um, problems with your phone as well. You can um, remove um, bugs and errors and problems, so make sure you keep your apps up to date. Now that we have it installed, we can click on that button again. And this time, instead of looking for the Play Store, we're going to grab the Facebook icon. These little icons you can add to your desktop by um, doing what's called a long press. So if you press and hold them, uh, it'll allow you to sort of pick them up and then move them over to your home screen. So make sure I grab the right one here. Messenger has the little zigzag on it. And then we can sign into Facebook by clicking on it, putting in our username, which is our email address. and type your password as well. Uh, this time, because it is hard to type on the uh, mobile phone, I did put my password in wrong. That was me there. So I'm gonna go back in, click OK, and try again. This time I'll get it right. Once we log in, you can use Facebook on your phone the same way that you use um, on the computer. However, I'm just going to exit out in a moment and go over to a Messenger. But you definitely just have a play around and you'll find that it works very much the same as it does uh, when you're using it in your internet browser. Going over to the Messenger app, because I've already signed in with Facebook on this phone now, it remembers me. It gives us an option in a moment once it finishes loading. To log in as me, that's the account that I've created, so I can continue. You could have multiple accounts to switch between. Um, so this one, if you click Save Info, which I am going to do, it means I won't have to log in each time. Messenger also would like to have access to your contacts. For me, I'm going to say not now. If you turn this on, then you'll be given suggestions for friends based on the contacts in your phone. This is something you can say not now to start with and always come back and turn it on later. It's also asking if it would like it to be a default messenger. I've said no to that one because I use a different app for sending messages usually. Uh, clicking on the call, uh, sorry, on the chat for David, as we've already been talking to him um, in the previous video, as you've seen, the previous messages from there are, um, are listed there. And I'm just typing a hello to say that I'm now contacting him via the mobile app. And it took him a few minutes to respond, so I sort of uh, cut the video right about here. And then you can see now when I type a message, if you look over on the right-hand side, um, just above the sort of the send button there, 
you'll see in a moment, there's a little tick to say the message was sent and it changes to a little picture of them to know that they've seen the message. And then when you see the three little dots going up and down like that, it means that they're currently typing. Sometimes you'll see those appear and disappear. Um, here I've added in a thumbs up, this little button there, um, where the send button was. And you can actually do all sorts of different stickers, uh, GIFs and emojis. Stickers are just little, um, sometimes animated, <coughs> sometimes not animated. And when you click on one, it'll put it into the chat and then it will be animated in the chat as well. There we go. Uh, you can also add things like emojis as well. You can see there's different options for stickers, GIFs and emojis. Emojis should be fairly familiar with. Uh, you can use them to add uh, some context to your message. So if you send a message and you think it might be a little bit, um, might sound grumpy, you can always put in a smiley face to let the person know that uh, your message actually has sort of a happy meaning behind it. Um, also use all sorts of different expressions in there. We're now going to have a look at uh, making a call. All we need to do here is click on the little phone icon near the top of the screen. There is also an option for a video camera there. However, I'm just going to click on the uh, phone icon. And there we go, we're calling. Now it'll actually cut out here. Okay, so here we can see uh, Facebook. We have someone else's uh, post here. So now someone that I am um, connected and, and following, I'm seeing something that they've posted on their wall. I'm going to be using the Messenger feature to call our good friend David uh, over here. I've been just done it on the mobile. Now I'm going to do it here as well. We have the same um, options we have uh, for video. If you wanted to do a video chat, uh, it works the same way as doing a voice call. I'm going to click this one and hopefully the audio comes through. Opens up a new little window and things like Facebook, because we're doing it through our browser, need some special permission. So we have to allow the microphone. Hear the dialing noise. Hello. Hello, David, how are you? Can you hear me? Hello. Um, my friend, hello, testing. Over to settings, let's check the microphone. It's set to set default uh, over to Snowball. Hello, hello. Uh, how about now? Change it over to the um, other device. Yes, I can hear you now loud and clear. Fantastic. So by default, uh, it was trying to use like my headset microphone, which is not plugged in. I'm using a different microphone. So everyone at home, you might need to go to settings and have a look what microphone you have set up here. Uh, as you can see, I've got a few listed and then the audio output as well. At the moment, I'm using my headset. But you could also have the sound coming through your speakers as well. Let me just go save. All right. Well, uh, we'll spare everyone us trying to do a, uh, a video call, and I'm just going to say thank you very much. Nice, you're welcome. And goodbye. Bye bye. But to hang up the call, I can just click the uh, hang up button here. If I need to, I can uh, mute myself. So if I need to make a noise, I could. Um, or I can click the hang up button uh, and call there. Uh, they'd like to give some feedback. That was actually pretty good. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Didn't have a problem. And submit. And then that's finished. So this is a separate window. That you could move around. You could even minimize it while you're on the call. Uh, you can redial them. Call them back if you need to. Otherwise, we can close it here. We can close it up here. And we've finished with our chat. We can also close it here. And just continue using Facebook as you would normally. Once again, that was opening up messages, clicking on the person or the contact. Uh, we can type to them a normal message, same way as you can on the phone. Thanks for that. And then to actually call them, we just click on the, uh, the phone. I'm not going to do that again. Uh, there are some options here, which should be the same options. You can see that it was a scene and then no problems. And you can see that they're still typing. Maybe they've stopped uh, under the options here. We can set up some different things for this particular chat. I can change this chat to be a different color. Let's do that one. Oh, wow, I can change it as it goes along. That's cool. Uh, under options, you can have your own nickname, create groups. So you can create a group of people. You can add more people into the group. Once again, that would be good for if you um, had multiple people you wanted to talk to at the same time. 
Keep an eye out on the Melton City Council Learning Directory Facebook page and YouTube channel for more videos and ways to connect.